Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll are authors. They are leaving for their second book tour to promote their sequel, Beautiful Darkness. Their first novel, Beautiful Creatures, was an international hit. My name is Caleb Nation, and I'm traveling with them to find out how they became bestsellers. Cammie and Margaret are having the launch party for Beautiful Darkness in St. Louis, Missouri. Their last tour was a year ago, when their first novel was published. When I arrived in the city, I first wanted to know how their writing journey began. How did the two of you start writing a book together? Um, it was really like a conversation. Yeah, it was. we were talking and it was like brainstorming. We were riffing off of each other, so it was like first we said we want to write from a boy's point of view. And he's going to live in this like small insular town and the girl's going to be this mysterious supernatural. And then like one of us said, you know, and but he has a connection to her before he meets her, you know, and then that turned into he dreams about her. And it was it's yeah, all of our like ideas are like up. that. No, all of our ideas are like that, though. We start talking about one thing and it like leads to another thing. Yes. What's the story behind the original idea that started the book, Beautiful Creatures? Well, really it came to me in my sleep and then I wrote it all. And You're then, such a liar. And then Cammie, I said, do you want for a small amount of money to pose as my writing partner? You wish. And then um, she said, yeah, I'll take the gig. She's a professional actress. Actually, we're, really we have Diet Coke and tacos to thank. We were hanging out at our favorite Mexican restaurant, uh, talking about books and world building, and we came up with a crazy idea, wrote it on a napkin, and then we went back and wrote, what, like 30 pages. This is the backstory we rehearsed when I hired her. <laughs> I wrote this out, and I said, do you think you could convincingly say this? And she gave it a try. No offense, but if I was going to be hired, I would work for James Patterson. That would be like a way better gig, because apparently he has a plane. Cammy and Margaret work so well together that it's hard to imagine that Beautiful Creatures was written by two different people. I wondered what it would be like if they tried writing apart. Which one feels more natural to you? Does it feel natural writing with Cammy, or does it feel more natural whenever you, have, you write it all yourself? Um, you know, someone asked me today at one of the schools we went to what writing felt like, and I said, me, and this isn't necessarily a good thing to say to someone at school, but it feels like you're high, you know, um, in a kind of out of body, natural high kind of way where you don't necessarily know how much time is passing and you don't know what's going on or if you've eaten or up from down. So for me, I just like to write and I don't really care as much about anything other than the act of sort of detaching from this world and creating characters and entering into a different world. So I don't, even the way Cammie and I work together, we write by ourselves. So it's, I don't think it's necessarily that different. And I think all the writers I know have critique partners. So I think you always kind of need someone to talk to about your world. I think I think that wouldn't change, but I don't know. Writing itself is always, I think, don't you think, a solitary I mean, it's just you, in a certain way. While writing a novel may be a solitary job, a book tour puts Cammie and Margaret in front of thousands of people across the country. Do you ever get nervous, like you don't know what to expect whenever you're going to this event right now? Uh, well, you always know what to expect, which is six people sitting in the very back because they're going to leave the front rows blank. So it'll be like two to, right? Am I, am I right? Two to four rows of empty chairs and six people. That's what I expect. I'm hoping for not that, but that's different than the expectation. And I never get nervous talking about the books anymore because I think I've, I feel like I've almost said everything I have to say at one point or another about them. But uh, 
So it's never anxiety over something I'll do or won't do, but it's more that kind of party anxiety over, is anyone gonna come to my party? 